So now for the presentation of the Glenn T. Seaborg Award. It is difficult to do justice in de describing Glenn Seaborg. He was quite simply one of the most amazing men of his or any era. Glenn Seaborg was a Nobel laureate in chemistry, an advisor to 10 US presidents, a key player in the Manhattan Project, and a strong advocate of nuclear nonproliferation and discovered 10 elements. And as we celebrate the 150th anniversary of the periodic table, it's especially exciting to point out that he is one of only two people to ever have an element named for him while still living, Seaborgium. While many national and international contributions, he was perhaps most proud of his leadership as chairman of the board of the Society for Science and the Public. In this capacity, Dr. Seaborg was a mentor and inspiration to hundreds of science talent search finalists. To honor his leg legacy and memory each year, finalists choose from their own ranks the student whom they believe best exemplifies Glenn Seaborg's ability to inspire in others the passion for science that these 40 students live and breathe. This year's Glenn T. T. Seaborg Award winner from Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School in Lexington, Kentucky, develop, developed a more efficient aircraft wing for her project. Please join me on behalf of Regeneron and the Society in congratulating this year's Seaborg Award winner, Rachel Sievers. Thank you, Maya, for that incredible introduction. You know, I never thought I'd be here on this stage being introduced by Maya Ashmira. I first met her, well, met is a strong term. It's probably more accurate to say fangirled from a distance at the 2015 Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. And if you had told that girl in the audience like all of you today. If you had told that girl she'd be standing here in front of all of you, I wouldn't have believed you, because I'm not that girl anymore. I have. Everyone here has changed so much. But during my freshman year, I read a story called Eleven about an 11-year-old girl named Rachel. And as she turned 11, she reflected on the fact that all of her previous ages surrounded her like layers, not hanging down on her, but making her who she was. I, I am a girl made up of the layers before me. And I formed one of my most fundamental layers about five years ago when all of this started. I was on a plane myself, and I looked out the window, and I saw giant white streaks moving over the wings, and I was terrified. <laughs> I thought for sure we were going to die. Uh, turns out it was just condensation. I realized I had no idea how airplanes flew, and I was so interested in it. Science, science can come from anywhere. It can come from anything or from anyone. And it's that inspiration that makes us who we are. I, I'm a sibling who used to build cardboard creations with my sister. I'm a passenger on a plane I once thought would crash, but ended up being perfectly normal. I'm a high schooler with a passion for engineering. I'm a Regeneron STS scholar. And I'm a Regeneron STS finalist. We all gained many layers this week, created and polished by all of our shared experiences together. Like when you first hear the interview start and you have no idea what the answer is, 
when you in your escape room has just seconds left and you cannot be presumably the only team that doesn't make it. Sorry, Team 4. When we, were present, when we presented for middle school students and the wonder and fascination in their eyes shone like the sun and melted away any stress we might be feeling and made hours and hours of research worth it. When we stood before congressmen and women and we were seen as experts in our field, not as high school students, not as future innovators, but as innovators of today, because we are. And when we were welcomed into the NIH, not only the National Institutes of Health, but the National Institutes of Hope. And I am gaining another layer now when I look out and see all the organizations and sponsors and hardworking people who made all of this possible. And I cannot express in words the gratitude each of us have for Regeneron and for the Society for Science and the Public. You made 40 young scientists' dreams come true. You made a little girl's dream come true because you made my dream come true. And I see the people who have been with me, with all of us, through it all. The judges, the society staff, the incredible teachers who inspire us daily. And well, my parents, all of our parents. Now, I promised myself I wouldn't cry, but I know my mom is already shedding a tear somewhere. Because she, if anyone, sees me as that girl, that girl of layers. She knows who I am now and where I came from, and I can't wait to share with her and with all of you who I'll, who will all be in the future. Thank you.